Hello, Team Green. Let's get ready for calendar. It's December. Today is Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. We are now working on graphing and measuring. This is a pictograph. You can see in a pictograph, it uses pictures. We need to read the title. Our class's favorite sports. So somebody did a survey and they asked all the different kids in class what their favorite sport was. Did they like soccer, baseball, football, or basketball? And so we're gonna figure out what people voted for. Can you count all the soccer balls? How many people in class voted for soccer? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people voted for soccer. How many people voted for baseball? Go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four people voted for baseball. How many people voted for football? One, two. How many of people voted for basketball? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I have some questions for you. Which sport got the most votes? So remember we say most, the most, the most people like that one, the biggest. Which one's the biggest? Hmm. Well, there's two that look really long. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven's the winner. So basketball had the most. Here's my next question. Which one had the least, the smallest, the least? It looks like that's going to be football with only two votes. Nice job, friends. I wonder what your vote would be. Hmm. Which one would you like the best? Okay, let's add a day of school. Here we go. We're going to count it on up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Today's the day! Yay! We've been waiting for this. Are you ready? Get up and dance with me. Got my rubber band. Bundle, bundle, bundle. Bundle, bundle, bundle. Bundle, bundle, bundle. Bundle, bundle, bundle. And who knows where this bundle goes? Do I put it back in the baby's room? Goodness, no. We made a new bundle, so it's gonna go with all his bundle friends, his big brothers, and we need to start all of these cards over. We're gonna have to recount. All right, are you ready? We're gonna count how many babies we have. It's going to be hard. Get your brain turned on. Here we go, ready? Zero. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Okay, zero in the ones place. Let's count our tens, our bundles of ten, because we have made a new one, so we need to count how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bundles. Oh, my goodness. Seven. Let's get a seven here. All right, friends. We need to figure out how many days we've been in school. Repeat after me. Repeat after you. Zero hundreds. Zero hundreds. Seven tens. Seven tens. And zero ones. And zero ones makes the number. What is this number? A seven and a zero is 70. We've been in school for 70 days. Let's go ahead and we need to change all of these too. Oh my goodness, I just dropped a whole bunch of them. 
Let's see if I can still make 70 here. Oh, there's a zero and a seven. All right, let's see. Now it is time for time. Can you say the time on the clock before I do? Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna go tricky Ricky on you. Do you know what time this is? Well, if you notice, little brother's hiding behind. He's on the 12 and big brother's on the 12. This is 12 o'clock. Were you able to get that before me? Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, what time is this? Little brother's in between the one and the 12, so he goes back to the 12. Big brother's on the six. This is 12.30. Were you able to get that time before me? Give yourself a pat on the back. All right, what time is this? This is a little tricky. Little brother's on the 12, and you have to count by fives. This is 12, and then we count by fives, that's five. We don't say 12, five, we say 12, oh, five. So any of the numbers that only have one digit, let's talk about this. So if they only have one digit, this is actually how we write time here. There's like a colon in the middle. And so this would be 12, and we don't say 12, five. It has to have two digits on this side, and then you can have different digits on this side. You can have one or two, but you have to have two digits here. So we have to say, oh, five. So if you look at the clock here, all of these numbers until you get to 10 need an O. So this would be like, let's say it was 10 o'clock. Then this would be 10, oh, one, 10, oh, two, 10, oh, three, 10, oh, four, 1005, 1006, 10.07, 10.08, 10.09, and then this is a two digit number, so we get to go 10, 10. So all of these here, you have to say O. Oh. All right, nice job, my friends. So now it is time for Fat Families with Miss Nelson. Woo! Hi, friends. Welcome back to Fact Families. Today we are still working on a related facts, so get ready to do some related facts. All right, remember that related facts are um, facts with numbers in the same fact family, so you can't stray too far away from those numbers. All right, so today I came up with the numbers five, nine and 14. So those are the three related facts of our fact family. So I'm gonna put a line here to separate it. All right, can you think of any related um, or any fact that would make up this fact family? Any math fact? Let's start with addition today. So let's put a plus here because we know it's addition. Now, what do we know about addition? Well, we always start with the smaller numbers. So I'm gonna start with five plus nine, because that's the other smaller number, equals, you can't forget that equal sign, 14. So five plus nine equals 14. That's one of our facts. Now let's find a fact that's related to this fact that subtraction or the little sister. So we have a subtraction here, an equal sign here, just to set us up. And we're going to start with our biggest number right here, 14, because we always start subtraction with the biggest number. So 14 take away, let's say nine. So 14 take away nine equals five and those are our related facts all right friends that's all for fact families today i hope you had fun and i'll see you tomorrow